Hi all, welcome back. In this video, I am going to integrate menu bar component of PrimeNG inside an Angular application. For that, first you have to import menu bar module from the PrimeNG menu bar and you have to import that in the module.ts file. So here I am, I am having a single module. So I am just adding in the app.module.ts file. And the same thing I am adding in the import section. So other than this one, you have to import the browser animation module as well. So I am importing browser animation modules and also getting added in the imports array. Once that has been done, you have to go to the HTML and you have to add the menu bar. So it's a P menu bar which has a attribute called model and which will accept an array of objects. So the items the items is the menu items you have to show in the menu bar. Okay. So this can be either coming from the backend API or you can statically return inside the TS file. Now I'm going to statically return inside the TS file. So this items I'm just adding, I'm declaring a variable here and this I'm importing a menu item. So this options which accept so the the p menu bar which accept the model having items which should have a structure of menu item that means it should have these type of parameters it has a standard interface which accept only these parameters other than these parameters it doesn't accept anything else so you have to be careful when you use the items uh, you should declare the items with these many key value pay. these are the key pay, key uh, options and these are this is the basic interface for adding the items array so i'm just adding some example here so if you see i'm just adding an array which having mainly two object so the first main item is file second one is edit then file if you click on the file you have a some other items also file have two uh, file have three options see one then two then three then if you click on the file then new then it has again another set of items with the label so whenever this items array is getting added inside the loop that means a new menu item is getting added so i will show you how it looks now so if you go to the application, these are the two main menus. If you click new menu, which has again another set of items, edit have another set of items. Okay. This is how it looks. Next thing is, if you want to add something uh, on this menu item on the right side, for example, if I uh, want to add something on the right side, what you can do, you can simply add anything inside this menu bar so i'm just adding some random text then it is getting appended on the right side now i am going to insert an input text box and the logo button inside on the right side of the menu bar let's see how we can do that so simply add like this and also in order to support the p input text and the p button i have to add button module and the input text module uh, from the prime ng so i am just getting i am just adding those two items also okay once that has been added let's see how it looks now now you can see the file edit menu options in the left side and that search button and logo on the right side then maybe you have a confusion like how you can add something on the left side for that this menu bar have a uh, different type of templates available so start template end template for example i'm just replacing this content with this one after saving you can see ng template with the start that means it will be inserted before this items is getting displayed then ng template end that means this item will be inserted after the items has been displayed okay so let's see how it looks now so this icon is getting displayed before this one and this search bar is getting displayed after uh, the items that means on the right side end side okay 
so this is how we can uh, change uh, this menu bar items okay the next thing is like i'm just going to uh, explain more about the menu item so now you can see the file it is a simple simple text if you want to make it as an html you can do it like a bold bold but what will happen if you are giving directly the html content it will show the html co uh, content um, directly so you have to give escape as false So if you give escape as false, it will automatically convert that HTML and it will apply the uh, HTML part. Okay. The next thing is like if you want to navigate, um, the next thing is like and also one more thing I just want to mention. Here you can see we are using the icon with the PI class that is a PrimeNG icon. So don't forget to install the PrimeNG icons. Uh, in your application so in this application i have installed prime ng icons and also prime flex in order to add the css because i am just adding different css like w full so it is automatically taken from the uh, prime ng uh, prime flex okay so these things i have installed it okay then next thing i just want to mention in the structure is if you want to add a uh, internal link so if you have a, a different pages inside the angular application then you can provide a router link option then you can add the link okay whatever the links you want to add you can add it but don't forget to you know add this angular routing router testing module inside the module.ts file otherwise it won't work okay so that needs to be added for my application i doesn't have any other um, routes internal routes so i'm just removing this uh, before that if you want to add some query params that is also available here you can simply add the query params okay uh, also so then next option is if you want to navigate to any other external link you can give the external link so you can give some for example like google.com you can give it it will navigate to the external link and also the other option if you want to call some function in the component in in the in the ts file what you can give us command then you can give a function or the functionality directly here or you can directly write this dot some function like this way and i will return that function here then console dot log of high okay so you can see if i click on new inspect if I click on new project, it will navigate to the Google page. If you click on new other, if you go to the console, the high is getting displayed. Okay. So these are the different options available in the menu bar. And if you want to know more about the options, you can directly go to the API and there will be different options available for the menu items. So based on the requirement, you can go to the uh, each you know different options of the menu items and you can use it accordingly inside this uh, ts file within this items